In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to program the Axiom Pro for a typical live performance situation, where you'd want to be able to quickly access and play different sounds from a multi-timbral sound source, whether it's a hardware module or software sampler. One of the easiest and most basic ways you can access different sounds from your MIDI gear is simply by changing the global MIDI output channel on the Axiom Pro. Now, I've already connected the controller to an external synth module that's loaded with a set of my favorite go-to sounds assigned to different channels. To switch from one sound to another, I'll change the controller's MIDI output channel. And to do this, we need to go into edit mode by pressing the edit button. You'll see that there are six different modes to choose from. Each of these modes can be selected by pressing their corresponding number from the numeric keypad. We want to change a global parameter, MIDI output, so I'm going to press 1. Now we can change a variety of global settings such as the keyboard transposition and velocity curve. Notice I'm using the soft keys below the LCD to select the parameter I want to work with. Since we want to change the MIDI channel, I'm going to navigate back up to channel and then use the plus and minus keys to change the channels. Or I could just type the channel I want from the numeric keypad. Accessing different channels from the global edit page is fine if you only need to change channels every once in a while. But when you go into edit mode, you can't change presets, which you'd probably want to do over the course of a gig, especially if you want to have custom controller assignments or different splits and layers of your sounds. Fortunately, you can program any control on the Axiom Pro to send just about any command you can think of, including commands to increase or decrease the global MIDI channel. And you can save that control assignment as part of your patch. Let's see how that works. I'd like to use F3 and F2 to go up and down through the channels. So I'll press F3 and then hit edit. Now because I want to assign a command to a specific control, I'm going to use the control edit mode. Notice that the F3 key is already selected. Here's a quick tip. When you want to assign a command or a MIDI CC to a control on the Axiom Pro, operate the control, whether that's a fader, knob, button or pad, and then go into control edit. The last control you touched will be selected for assignment by default. So now I'm just going to use the soft keys to select the parameters I want to change. Then use the plus and minus keys to change the type of message that F3 sends to be global parameter increase. I'll hit exit and now I can advance through my channels. Now let's assign F2. I'm going to press it, then hit edit, and press 2 for control. As you can see, F2 is now selected as the control I'm going to assign. I'll just go ahead and set this to global parameter decrease. Then hit channel, and exit. Now all I have to do to play sounds assigned to different channels in my synth module is to use these, which are conveniently located above my left hand for easy access. It's important to note that if I switched to a different patch now, my settings would be lost. So let's save this to a new preset before going any further. To name and save a patch on the Axiom Pro, press the Save button. Then use either the plus or minus keys to select the memory location where you'd like to save to. Or you could dial it in with Rotary Encoder 5. Once you've picked the memory location, hit the Save Soft key to change the name. I'll use the numeric keypad to call the patch we worked with in the previous section, Basic Key. I'm going to use this as a sort of building block for future patches. That way, I can start with this patch, make any changes, such as new splits and layers or custom controller assignments, and save it to a new location with a new name. And because I used basic key as a starting point, the F2 and F3 assignments we made in the previous section will be included in any new patches. Now, by default, the bank left and right buttons are set up to switch patches incrementally when you're in performance mode. Use these to quickly step through your custom patches like this. Or 
you can use the load button to jump to a specific patch, like this. Press load, type the patch number from the numeric keypad, press the load soft key. Alternatively, you can use Rotary Encoder 5 to select a patch. Press load, dial in the patch, and press the load soft key.